All right, first of all, that was a conversation about a television. A, a, un, a, forget it. You can't say anything on this show. <laughs> we welcome you in on a Thursday. Um, I, I'd like to start with the World Series. It could be a regrettable decision, depending on who is actually awake to see it. Um, yes, I am disgusted the Cubs won it. Uh, I don't hide my disgust. I know I will be in the minority. Um I also don't like that Joe Madden did not manage a good game last night and was able to get away with it. Uh, but I, I do, as we start this, it was the sporting event in America. It was one of the few times that the buildup and the hype, the payoff was there. Um, I know Rieger and, and, and Sully and Hatchet, all of us, I mean, it, it truly was a remarkable baseball game. But I think it was marred by something. There was something in this that that before we get to the old, oh, does this mean the Lions have a chance and all the rest of the nonsense? There was one thing about this game that bugged me, and it was that rain delay. A rain delay that seemingly you know lasted 16 minutes, whatever it was. I I did this now. Here's the only hot take I offer you today, but it's how I feel. I think that rain delay cost the Cleveland Indians a World Series. It cost them a championship. When you look at it, all the momentum was with the Indians. And that 16 minutes, 17 minutes, whatever it was, allowed the Cubs to gather their feet. They had taken a knockout blow. You had, you had melted down in the most Cubsian way possible. In Game 7, on the precipice of your championship. And you had melted down on the road. It had swung things. And after the game, the Cubs admitted it. And they said that that rain delay allowed them to gather themselves, to talk to each other. Jason Hayward called a team meeting, which on its own is a bit laughable. The dude's a 230 hitter who's the most overpaid player in baseball. He's a veteran, though. But the point is, you're right. They had a team meeting. I think that rain delay, and mind you, if you're going to have a rain delay, it better be longer than 16 minutes. I mean, they were on TV going, we're going to play in eight and a half minutes. Dude, they were playing in like three. So that rain delay was the only negative out of that because I thought it artificially affected the drama that was going on. And when you're playing with two cities that have been dying to win a world championship, when you're playing with two fan bases uh, that are dying to win it, I don't like seeing that. I don't know if anyone feels that way. I don't know if anyone even gives a damn. I don't even know if you were awake to watch it. But I thought that rain delay was the equivalent of the lights going out at the Super Bowl a few years ago, Niners-Ravens. It changed things. It affected things. And that, in a game of these costs, can't happen. I just wanted to start out with the one thing I didn't like about last night, other than the outcome, because I can't stand the Cubs. Yeah, you're upset about the Cubbies. Um... I tell you what, 17 minutes the rain delay was officially, right? I think it screwed up Ryan Shaw, the pitcher at the time for the Big Cleveland time. Indians, because he came back out and obviously got into the jam in the top of the 10th when the Cubs scored the two runs that ended up being the game winning. You know, I don't know if I blame the rain delay, and I don't even know if I give any stock at all to the Jason Hayward speech. If it did anything at all, and you mentioned it, it gave you a second to just sit and say, you know what? It's not over yet. It's a 6-6 six, six game. And yeah, we had a three-run lead, but now it's 6-6, six, six, and it's not like we're behind right now, and we haven't been behind this entire game. So that's the only thing I would say is it probably helped them in that fact, but the Indians just got to be better. The problem was all the pitchers that you counted on, whether it was Chapman or Miller, they sucked yesterday for the most part of things because they were just dead. So I actually thought that Joe Madden... I thought he was smart in game six for using a Raldis Chapman. And then I saw, I saw Chapman pitch in game seven, and I know I'm an idiot because he had nothing left, and I cannot believe he got through the ninth. No, in a lot of ways, you look at the people that took the mound last night. I mean, the, the biggest mistake Madden made was taking uh, Hendricks, Hendricks out, out of the, of the game. game early. Hendricks, right. Hendricks had a look like he was going to be able to give you maybe as many as seven innings, and he pulled him. Uh, you know, the, the Santana at bat, um, I thought he had struck him out. He didn't. Uh, that he didn't get the call. But overall, I thought that was a very bad decision. They did exactly what they weren't supposed to do, which is bring Lester in the middle of an inning. Now, Lester gave them some nice innings. He did. 
Also gave up two runs, though. When you look at the Tribe side of it, they needed Kluber to go out, wins game one, four, and seven. I didn't think Kluber had anything last night. He didn't have anything from the start. And that's not the leadoff homer. It's when you watch him pitch, he didn't have it. So it, it, it proves your point, though. When you, when you ride these horses long enough, at some point, you're going to run out of gas. Miller didn't have it. Oh, he was so far from having it. But no, I'll buy, I'll buy your rain uh, delay theory. I will because because even if you're just telling me that you get a chance because allegedly they were all in the weight room and there was no managers like Joe Madden was nowhere to be found right. and they just got to shoot the bleep with each other. But the Cubs needed that. Yeah, no, and I agree. The so Indians didn't. I'll buy that. I'll buy that because you're right. The Indians had just come back and Rajay was the hero and it was a six six game. Now, a couple other little notes from last night's game, and I, I know Rieger's into this and other people at the station are more into this than I am, but it was a weird composition to that ballpark. Seemingly a 50-50 split in the stands. I know last night on the broadcast, Fox had put it up on the television that 80% of the tickets bought on StubHub were outside of the state of Ohio. So that it goes a long way to tell you what we were dealing with. But it was a bizarre Game 7 because there didn't feel like there was a huge home field advantage. No, not at all. In fact, by listening to it on the radio, and I had to do the wings yesterday, so I'm driving home, and I'm listening on the MLB app. And when they hit the homers, uh, I think it was uh, David Ross, it's, it's the homer. Yeah. It, it sounded like a Cubs crowd. It sounded like it, the Cubs were playing at Wrigley Field, which they should have been anyhow. It was that way on television. Yeah. There's so, no question. So there were a ton of Cubs fans there, and that's what you get when you're playing in Cleveland when Chicago's not that far away. But, I, you know, again, the World Series from last night, if people want to talk baseball, which, who am I kidding? That's never happens. Well, but also, I, I do have a, a cutesy topic because I know everything has to be sold. We can't just talk about one of the great games in baseball history. Uh, I do have something to offer you that is Cubs related, uh, that is sports related. And that is that one of the only, and again, I don't have to like it to acknowledge it. The one thing I would say, oh, sorry. Unbelievable. I didn't mean to cut you off. I just had one more thing to add. I thought you were done. I thought you were in a breath. Go ahead. That's my bad. I'm sorry. Go ahead. It's my bad. However, if you sold your tickets and you're a Cleveland Indians fan, you sold your tickets for God knows how much money yesterday. Yeah, you know, that's soft. That to me, that's weak. Have it's, you ever considered that that ticket brokers possessed a lot of tickets? I don't disagree with that, but All there right. were also well, then maybe a lot you of need Indian to lay fans. Off the people. No, there was a lot of stories I read, Mike, saying tribe fans lost their confidence after game six and they hawked their game seven tickets. All right. So Rieger's gonna go into the trap of just criticizing fans. Uh, and telling others what to do with their tickets. So that's fine. You're welcome to do that. I'm not partaking in that. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. I'll attempt to sell you what I wanted to sell you momentarily, which is, despite my disdain for it, one of the only last remaining romanticized, romantic things about sports is dead. Make no mistake, the Cubs are hateable now. They're very hateable. So if you didn't understand why I didn't like the Cubs before, which is big market ball club with tons of money that's inept, uh, essentially they are the Cleveland Browns. Well, if you didn't understand why I hated them before, you're joining me now. So I'll explain why, and I want to see if people agree with it or not. Good hot baseball talk to start the day, huh? Game seven, one of the all-timers. Lots of thoughts out there.